Good morning, everyone. We're still here in Quartzsite, and it is Thursday morning. Friday, they're, however, calling for a lot of rain to come here, and we're parked next to a wash, so we're a little concerned about maybe flash flooding or flooding issues. and wash. Well, we had to take our jilted tent down because it almost collapsed. Good morning, everyone. We're still here in Quartzsite, and it is Thursday morning. Friday, they're, however, calling for a lot of rain to come here and we're parked next to a wash. So we're a little concerned about maybe flash flooding or flooding issues. In years past, there's been a few hot spots where the water took over 48 hours to subside, kind of essentially leaving people trapped in a certain area of the BLM lands. So we're just kind of assessing the situation and we wake up this morning to see that our neighbor is packing up. I don't know if that is just because he wants to be somewhere for Christmas, he's done with courtside, moving on, or if it's because he knows something we don't know and he wants to get away from the wash before the rain comes. So I'm gonna go talk to him real quick, see what his opinion is. Anyways, I just went and met our neighbor Jim real briefly and he's not actually packing up. He's um, preventively putting a tarp down under his tent because he will be tenting it through this rainy day tomorrow. So he's, he thinks we'll be fine. We probably will be. We've got this. I'll show it to you real quickly. We've got this wash that we're parked right beside. It'll be interesting how much it does fill up. You can see it's clearly a wash. So during the rainy season, oh, yeah. during the rainy season, this would fill up and accumulate water. But uh, yeah, so we'll see what it does because we're right there. We might get some of the runoff because we are on a slight slope running down and into the wash and across. But I think we'll be fine. We'll figure it out as we go. Yeah, so our neighbor's not packing up because of the rain either, so we're gonna chance it. I think that's our plan. We're just gonna see how it goes. All right. With the stormy weather predicted to start rolling in today, we decided to pop the drone up and see what we could see, what was coming on the horizon. All in all, I didn't think it looked too bad. And again that evening we flew the drone to take a look at the weather before it became too dark.
Good morning from Quartzsite. We're still under aerial flood watch this morning. It was supposed to start raining last night, but it hasn't yet. But we're basically under that aerial watch for flooding all day long today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the generator going first thing this morning, make sure everything's charged up as much as we can because there's a good chance it could be raining all day long and um, we won't have the chance to charge things up with solar or the generator. So it's all about making proper use of time when we can, so. Just got rid of our trash and ended up meeting some of our lovely neighbors. That was pretty nice. But now we got chatting and I feel the rain, so I'm headed back to the campsite. With the rain on its way, we decided to put up the bear den to increase our livable space while it rained. So Tara's now set up our bear den tent and we just want to point out something, a tip of the desert. So most tents come with these pegs and this is what happens <laughs> to these tent pegs out here in the desert. Um, so we upgraded last year to these bad boys. It's basically rebar with a curved top and a pointy end. And these get us through the winter, but see the hammer. We also, we also have a three pound sledgehammer to drive these rebar stakes, AKA tent pegs into the ground. And this works out great for us here in the desert. This was, this was a magical solution because this just doesn't do the trick out here. So way, way too many rocks out here. you really need to anchor things down because of the ground and also because of the wind. So I found these in town and we stocked up on them. Now we use them for everything. We have them in our Julka tent. We use them to peg down our mats. We use them for the bear den as well. And another pro tip, if you're in town and you're picking up some of these tent pegs, pick yourself up. Come here. Pick yourself up an ammo box. And they fit in there perfectly, they really do. These tent pegs will tear the crap out of any kind of mesh fabric bag tent thing that mesh or fabric tent bag case, whatever. bag case, whatever you want to call it. But they don't do any damage to anything inside this ammo case. And not only, you know, worried about them bending, but sometimes you're just in this loose sand, so you need something more substantial to, to really drive into the sand. Because yeah. even if you don't run into rocks, sometimes you want something that's really in the ground good. Does that make sense? It makes perfect sense to me. So Tara's gonna go take her sledgehammer, three pound sledgehammer. The tricky part is getting this lined up where it's nice and on a wonky. Yeah. Which it's a little worse for. Yeah, <laughs> it's been with us on the road for over four years. So, but yeah. So if you're here in Quartzsite, you plan to put up any kind of structure, whether it be a tent or anything, I highly suggest you look at getting these. People are gonna ask where we got them from. I forget the names of the stores because we only just arrived back in a Quartzsite. I'll put their names down here. They sold out last year. I don't know if they've restocked, so I'm not sure how helpful this information is actually, but we find them, stock up, grab some. 
They are a lifesaver and we've been using them all around North America now. We don't even touch the other tent pegs anymore. Yeah, they were like a dollar fifty each, I think. Yeah. You know, and really, there's no reason they can't survive years and years of use. See, even like with the tent peg right now, I'm running into a place where I can't even get this in the ground. So this is why you need something. Well, see, I can't. Hitting rock or something. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Had to get struck oil. They work like magic. Yeah. It Woo. definitely helped our, our quartzite season last year. But yeah, so pick yourself up an ammo case and a bunch of these pegs, and it'll make things a lot easier for you. arrived and with it a little bit of the wind so we've got bear den all set up Tara's putting extra ropes and pegs down and I was about to cook some lunch but hmm Everything's all locked up tight in the windows. It's good. Okay. Sealed up. Good. It's the first rainfall we've had since we've been in quartzite this year, so keep the dust down. Okay, so we're at ninety percent battery. So that's good. Should hopefully be good for the rest of the day. Won't be able to run the computer and a few other things, but. Burn up to get the generator out in the rain. We had to take our Jolta tent down because it almost collapsed. So. Hopefully this goes by pretty fast. <laughs> <coughs> Mr. 
Mr. Benny. Ah, hi. And I'm with Stella. We prefer to be outside, don't we, Stella? This is why we travel with the weather. So the rain's eased up a little bit here, so we're gonna go check out the damage, see what's going on outside. The wash fill up, Tara? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Look at that. Not, not much. <laughs> well, our little quails won't be walking through there right about now. Look at it. <laughs> that is impressive. If you can. Take a look. Look at this angle. <laughs> Not crazy. Puddles here and there. I don't think it would be too bad. What do you got here? See what the road looks like. 
let's see what the road looks like now. Where we usually drive through. All right. Oh yeah, that's... There we go. Sure enough. We'll see how long this takes to um, absorb. Could be interesting. Just a flowing. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. on the path of the water. This connects with the wash. That is impressive how much those washes actually fill up. Uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. You can see how you always have to be mindful here in the desert about rainfall because the ground just doesn't absorb it as readily. Um, where I come from in Western Canada, we get so much rain and it just sucks it up like a sponge, but here, not so much. Similar to like um, that red clay dirt that places like Oklahoma have, same thing. The ground just can't absorb it quick enough. So, yeah. Interesting. But yeah, there's our site. And there's the wash right there. I was joking with Tara earlier saying, come let's go fishing. Not sure what we'd catch, if anything. Yeah. There it is. There's the wash. It's probably in the background. <laughs> Me getting hung up on the wall. Oh, you're for filming forward? Okay. Oh, that's all right. Got your little umbrella. We might have skipped that from my parents' house. Whoops. Thank you, Rita. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the road's flooded. I would, yeah, I figured. Well, because it all connects, yeah, right? Yeah. Good if thing we wanted... stocked up on supplies. I did. Gas and food. We really have no reason to need to go anywhere. Look at that big cloud. Right over the if boulder. If you come close to me, you can get under uh, my umbrella. Come here. Let's just get the cloud and the boulder. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that thing. Did you walk around here, around the other side? There's a good area where it's rushing. Yes, I did. Wow. That is crazy. Just assessing the water flow for the night using that route as a bit of a guide. We'll see. Still doing all right. We've got a nice, really deep wash here, which could be good or bad, I suppose. But it's taking a lot of the flowing water. Time to go in, Stella. 
It's very gross out here, isn't it? Hey, poor baby. Well, it's definitely filled up more. Up to that tree. It's not raining too heavy now, so we're just gonna keep an eye on it and hope for the best. Oh, got puddles everywhere. Full won't focus. Flooding happening there. Comes out from the front of the truck there. Find the bowler. Good morning, it is December 23rd, 2023, the day before Christmas Eve, and we got something we didn't expect to get for Christmas. Let's go find out. It's a beautiful morning. We ended up with waterfront property in Arizona, in the middle of the desert, in Quartzsite. This is actually nothing compared to what it was last night. Yeah, it was uh, aerial flood watch and flash flood watch. So I've had a few people comment about my toque, AKA Binny, and apparently some people call this a toboggan. So uh, a few people have commented on it. If it's that cold there, why would you go? Yes, it does get chilly when the sun goes down but it's not that cold. I am currently in shorts and flip-flops. However, when your wife is a talented knitter and makes you these beautiful toques for the season, you wear them. Plus they're super cozy and warm. So the sun's out, it's beautiful. I'm already in shorts and flip-flops. It's not that bad. I just, I like her toques. Hi, Benny. So happy to be outside. Hey. Okay. Being trapped indoors all day yesterday. Yeah. We live in a small space, but this is why that's, that's how small it is. But that's why we travel with the weather because we all need our time outside. Being cramped inside that small space all day long is not always the easiest. But man, when the weather's nice, we all love to be outside. Good morning, everyone. We're here in Quartzsite. It's December 23rd, 2023. And if you're here in Quartzsite, you would have experienced what we did last night. And it was quite the uh, rainstorm, if you will. So much so that we were not only under aerial flood watch, but we also ended up with emergency alerts on our phone for flash flood warning. And flash flood warning actually means a flash flooding is imminent or actively occurring. So that was quite interesting. The water got quite high last night um, in the washes and everywhere else and then of course most of it fell over the course of the night so we couldn't capture all of it but I did get up first thing this morning with a sunrise and I flew the drone up over the Tyson wash area show you with drone footage what it looked like first thing this morning here in the Tyson wash LTVA of Quartzsite and uh,
Right. So Tara has now set up. This is what happens. This is what you should say. <laughs> there you go. You should say it. No. Okay. Definitely hitting something. That won't work. Oh, that's not a good example. No. It's a bad spot. <laughs> <laughs> 